Though, you may recognize this music is not from Dragonflight. It is actually from Legion. And why on earth am I here? <laughs> um, I'm on my... I'm on my um, priest, Night Elf priest. Didn't pick Night Elf for no other reason other than like she was the second character down um, that I could quickly get to this location. And this is currently in let's snap loads in no not Valshara. This is in a uh, Azuna. So she's in Azuna. She's in the Naga area because I want to look at something. Um, looking more to I posted the highlights from the uh, what was the deal with uh, Ashara and Neltharian today and I realized like okay I know they're using artifacts but where are they using them from and I had an idea about where not the unnamed statuary that's very much probably Ashara but the other night elf statue that's in there where that came from and I think I'm pretty sure I know um, it was taken from there are statues in Suramar that Suramar there are are no, statues all over the place but there was also the specimen in a jar thing and I remember distinctly the quest that sent you to this area we have to smash these jar specimen jar things but what they are actually are are anything that attacks me now is gonna die instantly sorry about the sirens is murloc hatcheries but when you look at them inside they're like little little tiny little tiny murlocs um but there's someone else who is oh right her her uh <sighs> new york city people new york city uh, so uh that's i forget the companion she has so it's a murloc hatchery um it's not any sort of weird embryo type thing um, could it, could they still be murlocs? I don't know. Those specimens in the jar are pretty big to be murlocs, uh, and I don't think they are. I don't I don't think Neltharium was. He, would he experiment on murlocs? Absolutely. Uh, the uh, uh, Ashara obviously is totally fine, but like hatching murlocs as, as uh, shock troops. So, um, but is that what he was, what's in those jars? Um, no idea. <laughs> but I want to come here because I remember these jars and I want to take a closer look at them because I forgot what was actually in them. And I was like, okay, they were murlocs. Where I really want to go. And like, I'm just getting like, oh, anytime I go over any area that has night elf ruins. Uh, I contemplated going to Darnassus too. I know there are statues there. I don't. I don't think any of those assets are being used, though. But there's surprisingly lack of statues <laughs> I found in this area. Um, Suramar itself does. Oh, here, like here's a here's one. This is pretty much the same thing that's in Darnassus and the temple of um, the temple there. So, I think it's supposed to represent a loon, or it might just be a priestess praising a loon. But that's the most you get from. Uh, wait, is that a statue there? I just keep looking to see if there's other examples. Yeah, this statue Gerard here. May have been onto something. Prince Ferrandis. got his ingredients mixed up. We should try a different combination. Maybe Hydra eggs and Murloc eyes. Some other time. Um, so this is one of the ones that was reused, and I'm going to confirm that later on Arleia. But uh, leave me alone. Don't attack me. That's, that's, don't only hurt yourselves. Uh, though this is a far more pristine condition than what I think is in um, the vaults. This is Gara Vault. But this is one of the ones, and I'll actually show, a, I'll have a better view of that than me flying around trying not to get attacked. So. This is why we, should, we had dragon riding. 
I would have been there already. But that is, that I believe is the same thing that's used um, it's in the Neltharis uh, dungeon the final room there's, there, I know there's one in there that's in with a bunch of like heaps of gold and what have you and treasure after the final boss um, it also appears in the Zascara vaults the demons are encroaching on our lands from Suramar we so must Dosa. drive them back. If you take out their leaders, my scale wardens will bring down their portals. Together, we can push the Legion back. The Withered must be made ready for our assault on the Nighthold. Their resistance to Fell can be bolstered in Fell Soul Hold. Is it didn't invite me to your wedding, it's okay. I won't hold it against you. It's cool, it's cool. Uh, so. I'm even tempted to go inside. It's funny because I was looking for it and it turns out it was right by the five point, which I can't find right now for some reason. There it is, it's right there. So, yeah, this. Statue right here. I have to look at the one in the vault if it has this level of detail on the gown, but the stance is, is exact. I'm just not sure if it has, I know it has the, the crescent moon headband. I forget if it has the shoulder pads and the detail on the gown, but it's the same basic asset. It has this long sort of hair that goes into a robe thing. Uh, that's the same. Now, I just want to get a look at, at what's in Suramar. Those are nightborn, so they they are supposed to look different. And they wouldn't have statues to, yeah, I mean, you could see two giant ones right ahead. Um, I, I love Suramar. I wish we got to spend time there. I wish that uh, Toronto was not so like, eh, you'd play with magic, ew. Um, and just was like, cool. I haven't been to Suramar in ages. I'd love to visit. But not invading and leading a rebellion. So yeah, I mean, here there's all Nightborn statues now. So. That's really the only where I want to go with her. Um, it is it is interesting. They do keep so much... Like, they haven't gotten rid of... They're not... They don't really seem to be strong Elune worshippers anymore. Like, you don't really hear the Lystra talk about that aspect, but there's still a lot of that imagery around, so I don't know. I mean, unless they just kept the architecture and just didn't bother changing it. So I'm going to send Sarah back to Eldraken. Log out her. Uh, 
not by my lair. She must be in stealth. Or I'm just gonna shoot. Sometimes she has to appear before I click load. I just. The game crashed on me like twice yesterday. It doesn't bode well for tomorrow. I mean, I know immediately. I always forget. You basically lose all your add ons. So, this area I haven't been doing in a while. Um, this is in. It's the cat zone. It is. Which still blows my mind because it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. What this is. Shimmering Spans in Vashir. Specifically, right outside the ruins of Vashir. And Vashir is named after Lady Vash. Uh, you may know, um, not only from Serpentine Cavern in Burning Crusade. But she was in Maldraxxus in Shadowlands. And if you did beat her in the raid, she calls you out on it, and it's very amusing. So, this is an area named after her. Um, she was she ranked high enough as a Shara to have a whole area of her own. But of course, respect is paid, but respect is due. I remember there were statues of night elves in this area. So I went there. And I was right that I was saying, I'm pretty sure one of them is supposed to be a statue of Ashara. I mean, the, of Bash. And I am right. It's the same statue of both of them, but I was right. <laughs> so this one is, I believe, the one that is labeled Queen Ashara. So it's supposed to be. And I'd say it's supposed to be a statue of Queen Ashara. But... It's the same statue as this one. <laughs> and this is Lestaria Vash, or Lady Vash. Now... It's similar to the last one. The, one that's, the ones that are outside of Suramar and elsewhere. And, um in Legion, but there's different detailing on here. It, it's reminiscent of it, but not, they don't have the crescent headband. The pose is similar, but, and the back, the whole hair with rope thing, it's more differentiated here, but it's very similar. And as far as I know, these are really only, this is the only representation of Ashara and it's not even really um, in the whole game. Up until we actually do see her. And Cataclysm does um, Cataclysm does have a fight with her. Does she do um, the um, War of the Ancients? Mm. The Will of Eternity dungeon. And she gets away, of course. Now, I'm going to go to one more area. Because I don't remember if there are any statues there. That there's one more more recent Night Elven City that at least was underground underwater that I can think of. And that's from BFA and you know what I'm where I'm going. So Nashes are <laughs> Um, and maybe just play the Ashara video just to wrap this up, but it's my quickest way to get there. Is I have to go to Varelis, so or maybe this might help me get there. Storm Song is not that close. Yeah, we're portal hopping.
<laughs> it's like flight points or portal to portal. I'll go with I'll go with portal to portal portal to portal because I know that I can get to Nash's R through a portal. So okay. Let's see. I'm. I, I want to get my hunter on so I can get freaking peacock pets. <laughs> I need to get her up. I need to get her going. I need peacock pets. And there's more than one type in the game, too. I don't know where the blue ones are. I know where the red, red and white ones are. But those are making shores. Boralus is always so loud. I like the music in Boralus, but it's so loud. I'm gonna have to adjust the music when we get there. None of my portal is showing up. There's supposed to be a portal. Thank you. Hello, Rails. Sometimes I wish I did things on my mage. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're already there now. Yeah, my mages tend to, um, Arleia gets most of the, the stuff, content done. But when I have to go for quick achievements, I'll go back and zoom around, the, zoom around Azeroth more quickly. I pull out one of my mages, I'm like portals, <laughs> just portals make life easier. Like for any of those, like, holidays where you have to collect things in different cities, it's But I won't be here long. <laughs> and I'm off. <laughs> I haven't been here in. I was here somewhat recently to look to try out to see if I could do solo the raid. And that was at the start of Dragonflight. I went there to say, "Can I solo the raid?" When I when I ping seventy. Do you really have much gear? But I could I could do LFR. But the problem with it was still I wouldn't take damage from mobs. Bosses will do a little damage. But they weren't going down fast enough. And I was like, I can't sit here. Uh, mobs weren't going down fast enough. It's like I can't sit here. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try it um, while I'm here and see how it goes, just briefly. But mobs wouldn't go. Mobs wouldn't go down. They weren't doing any damage to me, <laughs> but they wouldn't die. Like it took so long. I was like, so I cannot go through an entire raid where it takes this long to take down mobs. So I may try it now that I'm a, um, have much better gear than I did the last time I, I attempted it. And see how it goes since I'm in the area. But where I really want to go is, I mean, this whole area is filled with night elf ruins. But there's a very specific area. I can't use dragon riding there. I have a key bind for, for mounts. And I will always try to hit the wrong one in the wrong zone. I haven't been here in a while. It really is a very, very lovely zone, I have to say. Oh look, there's a... Is it really worth it? No. It is fun. You'll notice, actually, that I do still have a quest there. It's, um... 
It's a profession quest. I have another one too. I have the, uh, it's right here, Shred of Insanity. That's Rathian, still waiting in, uh, Silithus <laughs> for me to collect those. <laughs> because I'm like, I, I didn't get to finish that in time. That grind was too much. So this area, in particular. Ah, here, look, 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 look. See, see, this is exactly the statue that is in Sicily Art Vaults. The un unnamed statuary uh, is actually this statue. And there's no way this is not Ashara. No way at all. Um, who's that down there? I never expected to set eyes upon this city. Oh, it's Chandra's. Ashara. She sacrificed her people twice over. Once to the Legion, again to Nizoth. Um, thank you. Sweet you sh child. Uh, As a gentleman, <laughs> you should be familiar. With sacrifice, a leader must ever serve the greater good. Good? What good is there in trading your people's lives for power, in twisting them into aberrations? Such a pity. It seems you do not yet understand. Not to worry. Very soon, you will. I will savor the moment when we finally strike her down. Come, we must push deeper into Zinajari. So the city in question is Zinajari. Um, it's the city named after her, was named after a loon. I forget the full name of that. But thank you, Chandras, for being here and me apparently not doing this quest yet. Um, so I don't know if I can... Oh, wait, no, 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 this is Arleia. She definitely did this quest. <laughs> Why is she getting that dialogue now? That's interesting. Um, I am listening. On your mark. But yeah, let me pull back a little bit. Because I never expected to oh, set eyes I guess every time you enter again. this area, it happens, huh? Ajara. She sacrificed her people twice over. Once to the Legion, again to Nizoth. My sweet child. As a general, you should be familiar with sacrifice. A leader must ever serve the greater good. Good? What good is there in trading your people's lives for power, in twisting them into aberrations? Such a pity. It seems you do not yet understand. Not to worry. Very soon, you will. I will savor the moment when we finally strike her down. Come, we must push deeper into Zinajari. So, yeah, I, I wanted to hear it over again without me interrupting myself. Um, but yeah, this is the exact statue that's in... I'll grab a little of uh, Chandra's feather in there. Um, the exact statue that's in uh, the vaults is this and it yeah i'm honestly going here i was not expecting it to be this giant ashara statue smack in the middle of the area i was going to with chandra's basically saying ashara <laughs> and ashara showing up <laughs> so um yeah i forgot all about that apparently but i knew that if i went here there there was, I knew Zinashari was here, and I knew there had to be at least one statue, but I forgot it was this one. Which is exactly the same one that's in... Yeah, that is the same exact... And yeah, and I noted that there were barnacles on the bottom of it. It comes from the ocean. So they just reused the asset. I think some of the, the culling of the jewels is gone, but aside from that, it is pretty much... What is the same statue that's in uh, those rooms in the Siskara vaults? I'm like, oh, Zinnith, I need that. <laughs> no, you don't need it anymore. Keep going. 
but I wanted to see if I could access the um, because it's awesome. I'm gonna turn myself off it for for it because that's how awesome it is. This is just crazy though. Look. BFA gets a lot of flag. I mean, I, and yeah, I do agree with a lot of the criticisms, but it had some amazing effing moments. Um, okay. It's in here. So, I forget if it just happens or... Wait, no, it's there. You have to go there. I'm gonna shut myself off while I do this because I'd rather I'd rather watch it without if I when I rewatch this and have to edit it down. I would rather rewatch it and not have to hear a car and traffic noises. And the cat's clawing me and me going, Stop. So, okay. I'm gonna go silent for a little bit. I'll be back. Empire I built. It is This is my fault. No, 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 this was not the deal I made. Serve me. You 
Not a slave. You've watched me for a thousand years, so you know what I want. Take my people. With them, I will raise an army, conquer your enemies, build an empire as queen. Or let me die, and you will remain here, a prisoner, the god of nothing. <laughs> So good. <laughs> so good. Oh. So, I mean, if anything, you need a reason to revisit this area. <laughs> Miko always watch on YouTube. It's available there as well. But I, it did also gave me an answer to something else, because I, I was trying to piece together how old was Ashara at the time of the War of the Ancients, and I'm assuming when she says you've watched me for a thousand years, she's not as old as Nazoff. Night Elves didn't exist yet <laughs> at the time of the, the Black Empire. So she was a thousand years old, which puts her, makes her, I mean, that was 10,000 years ago, she was a thousand times at the beginning of the War of the Ancients. Hundred years old, which is about right. Uh, I think Malfurion and Tyrande and Illidan about the same age. I mean, that's looking at the the Warcraft three booklet. I remember reading that part. So, but yeah, that sounds about right. Um, but yeah, and I think I was going to check out if how easy it would be to do the raid. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think I may just... I'll do that some other night. Um, we don't need to go fight Ashara now. <laughs> or any, any any underlings of Ashara. Sorry, I know this is another Night Elf statue. I just want to look at it and see if it's... So yeah, I mean... Definitely the unnamed statuary 
and the uh, vault, the uh, Siskara vault is absolutely, and <laughs> without a doubt, a Shara. So. And I'll go back to him. Oh, actually, I didn't want to do that. Shoot. Damn, I have to fly back to the flight I have to go back to him. I think it's more quick to do it this way. I don't know. It's, it's a toss-up. But I need to uh, go back to Stormwind, not Feldraken yet. Because it's new stuff at the trading post. And I gotta check that out. Yes, I will put poison. I don't need poison right now. Thank you very much, Migars. It's the only way I'll remember. It's the only way I'll remember to do it. I'm terrible about remembering to repoison. I only remember when I'm in the middle of a fight and it's like, now I gotta pause to put poison on my daggers. I used, there used to be an add-on that its all, its whole entire purpose was to like, remind you, like, put your poisons on. Poisoner, it was called. Um, now we can go into very loud Boralus. So we could go to Stormwind. I mean, I could, I guess, put on my cloak of cooperation as well. But. Okay, get out of here before the, the music kicks in. Damn it. <laughs> oh. I'm hoping that tomorrow it's not. I'm gonna put my poisons on just so I don't have to look at this the poison thing. I don't. I'm hoping. I, I know it's hoping against hope. I know all the add ons will be malfunctioning except for maybe two or three. Um, but it's fine. It's it's going to be total exploration. I'll be on. I'll be on my own to. Uh, I'll be totally on my own to remember to poison my daggers. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'll survive. Stormwind wants to be loud right now, too. So let me accept my quest that I've been holding out on accepting. A distant object catches your eye. You suddenly remember that you have tender to collect. <laughs> yes, I do remember I have tender to collect. Thank you. Um, but that does remind me of something else I need to check. Um, I had forgotten to do this. I had forgotten to do this since I first found out about it. All right. Um, I am Aralea. So you do this over a series of weeks and it starts out with a copper coin then a silver coin, then a gold coin, then a bag of coins was the last one and now that I got. And then, then there's this one. It's at the very end of, if you have an adventure guide, and everyone does, you go to the suggested content and you go all the way to the very last thing of the suggested content. You do have this. You do have this. Um, if, unless you've done it already. And I know it leads somewhere, but I'm not even going to try to find out. But usually your result is sweet, free money. This one's sweet, free money? It's a mysterious coin. There appears to be an unusual coin tucked into your adventure guide. I take screenshots of this because I'm tracking. Do you get week to week? I think I forgot last week. And... I was like, okay, I need to remember. It doesn't matter because really, I think this has been in the game for years now. That doesn't look any way suspicious whatsoever. I'm just taking screen caps, don't mind me. So, a single strange coin sits in your bag along with a small note. Thank you for the opportunity to observe you. 
The information I've gathered has been illuminating, to say the least. This will be my final gift. For now. What? Okay, go to the class. So I now have this curious coin. It's an achievement. Discover a secret in your adventure guide. Okay, is it just taking up bag space? It's worth a hundred. Shadow scrawled coin. The coin has an otherworldly feel to it. Its face is creased with dark purple and blue lines of magical energy. Purple and blue. Dark purple and blue. It's a, it's a combination that's voidy and bad. <laughs> okay, fine. It's not like I haven't already like messed around with old gut shit. But, um, of course, this gray item worth a hundred gold will sit in my bag. <laughs> it will sit in my bank because I have to hold on to it. But yeah, I guess that's the last one in the entire quest. Uh, so definitely worth just checking out whether you want to sell the junk or not. Um, definitely worth checking out your adventure guide just going to the last page. There's really nothing else to do other than click a few times and you get stuff. Um, if, you're, if you've never... If you've never seen these murloc heads floating above people's heads, or in case you see something else floating above people's heads, like, I think it's a little green flag I have above mine for these folks. That's, um, I'm a guide in the game. So I met the qualifications to, to qualify as a guide. So if people want to reach out and ask me, I have a, a channel dedicated to it. Uh, people asking, how do I do this? Um, I'm not sure which, which quest that is. Why can't I click on it? It's annoying. Um, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Um, I pop in there from time to time to see if there's anything I can answer. So, and not everyone, like, there are people that are re-signing up now that, I, a lot of folks that show up and there's like, I haven't played this game in several years. I'm a bit lost to where to find these things that I used, I used to know where they were. You know, there are people that are coming back, I think, that are pre cata so that's interesting but cool 500 tender trader trader tender tender trader trader tender um i don't know if i spent anything i don't think i want it i think i'm like it's a good day for a bit of buying always a pleasure now don't you be gone too long i give me it's gold a fine day for trade. let's see what you have I know what's a definite thing I need. Um, I'm not too, like, this doesn't really interest me too much. I'm not really keen on that. Um, I don't like this tail thing here. It's like, you know, they, you can tell that they put it to the side so it wouldn't look like what it could look like. <laughs> um, I mean, I like the rest of the design of it. I don't like that tail thing. I mean, the, the backpack's mine. Um, and I see we have... Um, these are, uh, well, Kvadir. They're the, uh, Velishar. They're the, um, oh my god, why can't I remember what they're called? They're the, uh, the giant folk. Northrend and also Odin's people and, and uh, I can't remember the name for some reason. <gasps> but I have enough for Pippin! Okay, Pippin is being bought. That's, that's going without saying. Pippin is... Pippin is mine. Pippin I'm going to actually buy. I'm not even going to look at anything else just right now. I'm just going to purchase Pippin. Pippin is purchased. I, when I knew Pippin was going to be there, I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, that's that's being purchased. Um, I froze range of the Magenta Cloud Serpent from last, last month. Uh, let's see. How do I feel about this? Indifferent? Nah. It's all right. It's two hundred. I could technically, I think, get it now. Um, wing. That's cool. I like that. I am liking that. Let's go. What else we got? Crimson bicorn. Yeah, yeah. That's cute. Merciless Trapper Sap. It's not even show displaying online. I'll go look elsewhere. Cinch. Eh. 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 Eh.
Okay, it's a simple bow. That's cool. High Priestess Ceremonial Drape. Sharpened Shank. So... <laughs> I mean, this is something I can just, like... I'll have enough tender by the end of the month to get. Um, I think what else I'm going to pick up now other than Pippin is this. Because this is cool. And that... That leaves me with no tender for now. But I haven't even started getting tender for this month, so I'm not worried about it. But I need that. And I think I'll pick up the bicorn. And then I feel like I should get the sharpened shank just for the name alone. But I might pick up one of these two, depending. We'll see what we see we'll see when we get there. But right now I know I, I know I definitely want to pip it and I def that that when I first I saw that in one of the previews to this expansion and I was like oh that's cool and I don't even know if she as a rogue can use it it's a one hand it's a war glaive she can't use it <laughs> but I have I have demon hunters they can use it so they can use them and that's good enough for me uh, so so cool beans. All right. Let's leave.